Hello guys, I have a good one for you today. It's a little different from my usual farm vlog or farm interview. It's a rant. It's about this bovair or bovir or whatever you call it. Bovair just went viral on X and other social platforms last week because Arla announced that they will be trialing it in their products. And the people are outraged. They've had enough of this madness. So first things first, what is bovair? Bovair is a methane reducing feed additive that is being used in beef and dairy cattle in the UK and Australia. It's a great new invention that they have come up with to help with the dying planet. Because as we all know, it's the cows that have been around for thousands and thousands of years that are destroying this planet and not this. Bovair 10 has some really sketchy ingredients in it, in my opinion. It contains silicone dioxide, propylene glycol, and 3-nitro-oxypropanol. Oof, that last one was a hard one to pronounce. Let's research what it is, shall we? Uh-huh. Causes skin and eye irritation. Can be harmful if inhaled. Uh, look at this one. May damage male fertility and reproductive organs. Damn, that's bad. You've all heard the saying, you are what you eat, right? Well, think about this. You are what you eat eats. You with me? Everything is connected. I believe that everyone and everything is interconnected in a way that isn't always immediately apparent. One thing that I found incredibly funny was that when you Google Arla and Bovier, you get all these articles popping up from the ABC News and BBC calling it fake news. Conspiracy theories. See, here in this ABC article, it says the cattle feed additive bovir being the subject of... There's a typo. Hang on. Has been the subject of backlash and conspiracy theories. Because the little grey cells, they see everything. It gives the clues, always the little mistakes that the criminal ignores. That opens the door to the psychology and so to the crime. In short, the cattle feed additive bovir being the subject of backlash and conspiracy theories on social media after plans were announced to trial it in the UK. Farmers in Australia already use it to reduce methane emissions from their cows. Oh wonderful! We're so clever in Australia, we're already using it! God help us. And this article here on the BBC. Misinformation about cow feed additive prompted people to throw milk away. I would too. I'd throw it away. Goodbye. So what companies are using Bovair in their products in the UK and Australia? Well, here's a list. Lurpak. Well, that's off the list. Plus it has seed oil, so mm -mm. Coles. Oh, great. Don't shop there anymore. Woolworths. Yep. Isla Foods UK products. Sorry, UK. Muller products. Anchor butter. McDonald's. <laughs> I, I stopped you going to McDonald's when I was like seven or eight. We used to go there once a year for a special occasion to get the fries, but not anymore. Goodbye McDonald's. Costa Coffee, own label dairy products in Tesco and M&S. Aldi Australia, Lidl Great Britain. Oh gosh, guys, a moment of silence for this one. Um, people, this is, this is very sad. Cadbury, Australia. That's a big one. <sighs> All right, next. Nestle or Nestle or whatever you pronounce it. Choco Mars, Mort and Company, North Australia, Pastoral Co. That's a big list. And turns out that Bovair has been used in Coles for quite some time. It says in this article that they've been using it since 2022. I don't know about you guys, but I am sick of this. And this has only strengthened my desire to own some land and to have a few Jersey cows for that raw, A2A2, non-GMO, grass-fed Jersey cow milk. If you are just as annoyed as I am and want to boycott these companies, then I highly suggest you buy your meat and milk from a trusted farmer. If you want great clean beef, I suggest you buy from Wolke Farm, Bellow Beef, or even Hillside Food Forest. If you want milk, 
Go buy your milk from Hastings Riverlands Dairy, Tilba Tilba Dairy, or even Norco Organic. For those of you that are more scientifically minded, you might want to check out Brett and Heather Weinstein's new video about Beauvais. The link is going to be in the description. To basically summarize, it's an enzyme inhibition of the ruminants, i.e. cow's fermentation digestion process, by about 20%. What could go wrong? You know how some people take digestive enzymes after a meal? Well, this is kind of the opposite. At least that's what my dad says. So tell me, what do you guys think about this new feed additive? Let it rip down in the comments. If you guys want to support and keep in contact with me, go subscribe to my newsletter because you never know when my channel might get taken down. Then there's also Rumble, just as a safety net. Go subscribe to Rumble. I'm committed to this journey. Are you? Let's go. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Chili's Farm.